It's hard to believe, but in just a few short months, your child will be entering the doors of a whole new world as a middle schooler. You're probably thinking, is my child really ready? Or you may even be thinking, am I really ready? Middle school is a time of so many new experiences, ones that your child might be ready for, and ones that may even stir feelings of uncertainty. As parents, you can do more than just wonder if your child is ready for middle school. You can take steps to make sure your child is prepared to face some of the new experiences ahead. One of the first new experiences your child might face is the fact that the school is so much larger than most elementary or intermediate schools. In these new surroundings, there are more students, more teachers, more classrooms, and more administrators. On top of that, there are multiple bells that ring throughout the day that signal when it's time to change classes, when you are tardy, and when you are dismissed at the end of the day. So, how can you help? Start by getting a copy of your child's schedule. During your school visit, find the location of your child's homeroom, the classrooms for each period of the day, the lunchroom, the bathrooms close to each class, and the assigned locker. Then, take the schedule inside your child's binder. Over the summer, set up a time with the school staff to take your child and a few friends over to the school to practice finding their classes and traveling from room to room within the allotted time for changing classes. And, since there are so many new faces, you might even want to check out the school's website and help your child start putting a face with a name for each teacher listed on his or her schedule. Besides new surroundings to navigate, your child is also moving from the top of the elementary or intermediate school heap to the bottom rung of the middle school ladder. This can be a little scary for many students. Research shows that many students transitioning to middle school are anxious about meeting their new teachers, the administrators, and even the older students. Yet many students are most concerned about the new peers they will meet. They wonder, will I see anyone I know in my classes? Will I have someone to sit with at lunch or will I have to eat alone? Will it be hard to make new friends? So, how can you help your child have a positive experience with developing new relationships and friendships? To assist your child with new opportunities to make friends, you can help your child investigate the various sports teams, clubs, or extracurricular activities offered at the school. Start by routinely checking the school's website. Then remind your child to carefully listen to announcements. Morning or afternoon announcements are often used to update students on upcoming meetings or tryout dates. Pencil in those dates on your calendars, and as a reminder so your child won't miss these wonderful opportunities to get involved and make new friends. Another great way to help your child develop new relationships is to arrange a weekend social activity or outing within the first few weeks of school. Invite friends from your neighborhood, church, or grade school along with some new classmates and let the fun begin. It might also be a good idea to spend some time role-playing or discussing how to join group conversations by adding to what is being said, rather than interrupting everyone. As new friendships and relationships develop, you can also give your child strategies and ideas on how to handle difficult social situations. Even teaching your child how to make eye contact when listening or speaking to peers can improve relationships with new classmates. Keep in mind, that friendships outside of school are also important. Identify your child's interests and find groups or organizations outside of school, such as scouts, church youth groups, dance teams, or even karate classes. Getting your child connected with groups of friends outside of school enlarges your child's circle of friends, which is important at the stage of their social development. In addition to new relationships, your child will experience new freedoms. The more freedom your child enjoys, the greater responsibility your child will have. This often means learning a variety of new rules and procedures. So, it is extremely important that you make time to read and discuss the school's student handbook with your child. Make sure that the school-wide rules for behavior are clearly understood. Be sure to closely read the dress code policy to avoid any embarrassing moments at the beginning of the school year. The handbook will also clearly state the attendance policy and consequences for tardies. In addition to the school's handbook, each teacher might also send home a syllabus that includes his or her classroom rules. Read through each syllabus together to better understand each teacher's grading practices, 
required learning materials, homework expectations, and specific due dates. The syllabus may also describe how to handle makeup work and missed assignments. In middle school, students are expected to be responsible for their own learning, which includes keeping up with assignments and turning work in on time without having to be reminded by the teacher. At the beginning of the school year, most rising middle schoolers worry about the logistics and social aspects of middle school, but it doesn't take long for academic concerns to arise. Your child will often face harder classes, more homework, and a whole new set of academic expectations. Middle school teachers expect students to take charge of assignments and projects with less day-to-day -day guidance. As parents, you will most likely need to step in and help your child create a home learning plan. First, work out an organizational system to keep up with class notes, handouts, and homework for each class. Re-ring binders with pocket dividers, colored folders, or accordion style folders are a great way to help your child create a place for everything. Many middle schools provide each child with a student planner. Help your child form a habit of using the daily calendar provided in the planner and a home calendar to record and keep up with due dates for homework, projects, and tests. You might even have the child record dates to actually work on upcoming assignments. Take time each evening to review the calendar to keep your child on track and mark off completed assignments. Some children will need help developing time management skills. If your child needs help with this, create a schedule or daily checklist that includes homework time, study time, break time, and daily chores. Then have your child check off each task as it is completed. This will save you from having to remind your child each day what you expect. Even the most responsible student will experience homework frustrations. Help your child find a homework buddy for each class. If your child forgets what was assigned, needs help with an assignment, or even needs to prove to you that there is no homework, a simple phone call or text to a homework buddy can usually resolve the issue. Completing homework is one thing, but remembering to turn it in is another. Middle school teachers may not remind students to turn in assignments. They may expect their students to do this daily without support. So one of the simplest ways you can check daily to make sure your child has turned in homework or assignments is to simply ask him or her. Have them check in their planner when turned in, or you could log in to PowerSchool to check for yourself. During this time in life, Children also begin to experience changes with themselves. They enter this new age of push and pull. They want their independence and they want to stay close to the family at the same time. Many parents begin to find it challenging to stay connected to their children without being overly protective or controlling. So this is a great time to create some new family routines that keep you connected with your child and open up the lines of communication in a new way. First and foremost, it would help to create a preteen acceptable goodbye routine if your child will be a car rider or when you visit the school. Many children at this age prefer to not be seen receiving a hug or kiss from a parent. So maybe try a fist pump, a cool handshake, or even a high five. You could even just say, goodbye, hope you have a nice day. The next routine you can update is how you ask your child about the school day. Most parents ask, how was your day? Or what did you learn today? And most kids respond with, fine, and nothing. Get your child talking and sharing more with you about the school day by trying some of the recommended conversation starters like, tell me something that made you laugh today, or tell me one good thing that happened today, or how about this one? If an alien spaceship came to your class, who would you want them to take? One of the last most important routines you should establish or follow more consistently during the middle school years is to regularly monitor your child's social media sites and text messages. Many social issues that arise at school are often the result of something posted or texted the night before. By keeping a check on your child's social media interaction, you will most likely be able to prevent situations, bad habits, or unwanted relationships from occurring. Also, Take time from the school year to begin to discuss how to handle and react to troublesome posts from friends, classmates, or peers. When you have a plan in place ahead of time, your child will most likely be able to handle these situations on their own. However, when issues arise that you feel like your child or even you as a parent will need more support, contact the school counselor. Ready or not, your child is on the way to middle school. 
We certainly hope that some of the ideas and strategies we have shared will help you and your child become better prepared for the days ahead. 